One of the key differences when you do a comparative analysis between transmission of results 2017 mm -hmm. and uh, 2022, mm -hmm. and which you have alluded to in terms of form that the, uh, 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 4A, mm -hmm. is that in 2017, 11,000 unreported 34A forms we are not captured as the results were announced by the presidential returning officer who is the chairman of IEBC. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, a few days after the elections. Mm -hmm. But what are we seeing today? What we are seeing today is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Currently we are at about 82%. Mm -hmm. The very first day during the poll and that showcases transformational improvement mm -hmm. as far as IEBC is concerned. And we are talking about the reported Form 34A. Because after that, mm -hmm. the forms then must be brought physically to the Tallinn Center. That is a requirement as far as the law is concerned. But looking at it from the perspective of 2017 um, uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, before then, mm -hmm. we can actually say kudos to IEBC as far as that bit is concerned. Mm -hmm. Maybe in terms of what we saw, as far as the Kim Kits are concerned, we noted that we had 200 um, uh, Kim Kits that uh, at one point malfunctioned. And that's just about 0.4% of the total number of uh, Kim kits that were being used for 6,229. It's not really a failure that would be termed as catastrophic. Mm -hmm. But that notwithstanding, it's still a failure because bearing in mind what general elections mean to this country, it could result in perceptions, mm -hmm. even of electoral malpractices. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's what I would put across at this point.